of the golden rules of life is never go shopping when you're hungry because you'll buy too much food. And this is a resource that many shops use and, and, and will always catch us, particularly if we're feeling hungry. That smell of fresh bread will always make us feel hungry and rush to buy some bread. So if you're running a bakery, using the resource of the smell of the bread rather than a sign or any kind of marketing, much more effective. And again, almost a resource that, you're, that you could be unaware of as you approach. So a perfect resource. It's freely available, it's already there, and it will increase your sales. So when we're looking at resources we've got, we're looking at things that happen when the problem occurs, things very close to the problem zone, very close to the problem time, that are free and readily available. And this is before we bring in extra costs, extra inputs. But if you say to engineers, oh, we've got a problem here, the first thing they want to do is bring in something new, invent something new and add something. So there's quite a famous story in robotic, um, in robotic machinery and factories. And there was a problem when swarf was being produced and the machine operator before had just brushed the swarf away. And they said, well, the robot won't do that. Can we build an arm that brushes the swarf away like the operator? And then Trisperson looked at it and said, well, what resources have we got? What could make the swarf clear itself? which is the way that we approach resource problem solving in TRIS. How can the problem solve itself? So how could the swarf clear itself? What resources have we got? Well, one thing that would make swarf move is gravity. So all they did was they turned the machine upside down. So the swarf fell away. Gravity took the swarf away. Now you couldn't have the machine upside down when a human was operating it, but once a robot was, it didn't matter. So TRIZ is about being aware of all the opportunities we've got and really intelligently using all the resources that are there. Even things that we forget about, like ambient temperature or gravity or sunlight. Try and use those in a way that will solve the problem for the least cost and the least harm to the environment. So this is a very famous solution that all sailors will know about. So if you get a hole in a ship below water, you've got a big problem. So, and there are many ways of solving any problem. So there are lots of things you could do. You try and bung it up. But what resource could you use that would really help seal up that hole as quickly and as efficiently as possible? And that's the force of the water itself coming in. So this is a trick that all sailors in the past would have known about, that if you put a sail on the outside of the ship, the force of the water pushing against the hull actually seals the hull. So very old resources, using something harmful in a good way is something that, that when you're in a perilous situation, you find out about the best, best resources available. And when you're in a closed system, such as on a ship, you really get very good at using all the resources that are available to you, even the harmful ones. If you have something that's harmful, the bottom bit of your ideality equation, the biggest gain could come about from moving it from harm to benefit. And so this is a big part of Tris thinking. Can I take my harms and turn them into benefits? So in Russia, one of the stories they tell about taking something harmful and, and finding its benefit was in the Afghanistan conflict when the Russians invaded Afghanistan in 1980. They didn't have enough first aid. It was a horrible conflict, many wounded. And in their field hospitals, they kept running out of everything. And when they ran out of bandages, they would just empty the bins, pull out the dirty bandages and reuse them. And when they reused dirty blood soaked bandages, they found in many cases, they were better than the clean bandages and that their soldiers stopped bleeding immediately. So what's going on here? And it's just very simple science that if you mix two different blood groups together, they both clot. So if you take two bleeding soldiers and they've got different blood groups and you put their wounds together, they'll both stop bleeding. So something harmful, like a dirty bandage, became something that was more useful than a clean bandage. And this is very much part of Trist thinking, can I take the harmful things and turn them into good? Apparently, um, when people were going prospecting, and they needed to break rocks. And they're in the desert, 
What resources have you got in the desert? Well, in the daytime, you've got a lot of heat, and in the nighttime, it's really cold. So you've got temperature changes. And even old prospectors would use this by putting water into cracks in the rock, and then at night they would freeze, and then the rock would break by itself. And we use these kind of free resources all the time. The inventor of a wetsuit just used air. And so thinking about resources that are available to us, very important in very clever design. And in Russia, when they first got dishwashers, they couldn't get dishwasher powder. So they said, well, what is dishwasher powder? And they realised it was just sodium bicarbonate, something that our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers had used for cleaning in the kitchen for many generations. And if you put sodium bicarbonate together with grease, it forms soap. And that's exactly what you need for cleaning an oven 100, 200 years ago, but also in a dishwasher today, something that won't froth up. If you put ordinary washing up liquid into a dishwasher and set it going, it's like the tides come in. Your whole kitchen will fill with foam. So you need something that won't foam, but become soap. And so old knowledge is really important, going back to the kinds of solutions our grandmother used, really important in finding resources which are cheap and clever. So if you say to students, you know, why are your windows so dirty? They say, well, I haven't got any window cleaner. You say, well, use vinegar, use vinegar and newspaper. That's exactly the kind of resource that we used to use in the past. So part of Tris thinking is to go back to the golden rules of the past, look at the kind of solutions using resources which are freely available, cheap, but also very clever, and remember those solutions and reintroduce them so we're not using expensive chemicals when we don't need to. So using resources in all kinds of ways, using old solutions, new solutions, combining resources, is exactly what we're doing in Trist Thinking. And as well as the kind of mantra, there are many solutions to any problem, use the resources you've got is something very fundamental to Trist.